What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about grid trading systems. Grid trading systems have skyrocketed in popularity, especially with the crypto community. There's a lot of tools you can use and websites where you can set up grid trading systems to automatically trade for you. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about grid trading systems, what they are, how they work, and some useful examples. So let's start off, what are grid trading systems? Basically, they're a strategy to accumulate a position over a long period of time or to profit off of sideways moves. Okay, cool, so how do they work? Grid trading systems usually will place hanging limit orders spaced out by an interval, usually it's a percentage. If the asset drops to the lower grid lines, those orders will be filled and will sell on the upper grid lines, assuming the asset price goes up. Then once the order is filled, sell limit orders will be placed above and will wait until filled, if they ever do. Some grid systems buy and sell between each grid lines and some grid systems you can attach a profit target and stop loss. Personally, I think grid trading systems are awesome for averaging down your average price and your position over a long period of time. I'm talking months or years. You know, it's a great dollar cost averaging strategy. In terms of intraday trading, I'm not sure how well they would do. You know, your grid lines would have to be big enough in order for you to, you know, profit off of those moves, um, including slippage and commissions. So, um, you know, you'd have to see big intraday swings for it to be profitable. I think, you know, it'd be really hard to, um, make grids big enough where you get some solid intraday movement. But in terms of over the long period of time, I think it's a great way of averaging down, down, averaging down your position and for lowering your average price um, with a sort of a, a dollar cost average kind of goal uh, on a position. So one you know useful, very useful example would be to say, look at a safe ETF like the SPY, use it, uh, you know, have it on a, maybe a daily or weekly candle size and, you know, have a grid that draws maybe 3%. So every 3% down spy, you get an order filled. Um, maybe, you know, it's like 10% of your account size on each order, for example. Um, so it fills on 3% and then you'd have, you know, say a, a two to one profit target ratio where maybe you have a 10% profit target and a 5% stop loss. I think that'd be a very safe strategy uh, for a system, or maybe you have no profit target and stop loss and you're just accumulating SPY, um, you know, anytime it drops 3% uh, from the, you know, entry price. So I think that would be, you know, a very good system, a very safe system to dollar cost average that ETF. Grid systems have also been really popular with the cryptocurrency community. A lot of services you can, you know, pay monthly and basically have a grid trading bot service where it will buy Bitcoin or Ethereum uh, based on those drops. Um, and they're, they're very easy to set up with a lot of, um, you know, exchanges and stuff like that and they're pretty cool but one downside is they do lack a lot of customizability in terms of you know options and stuff like that or you got to pay an arm and a leg to offer those options so you know for me i code my own grid trading bots um, i don't use any personally with my own capital right now but i am investigating back testing um, and just kind of scoping them out to see if they're viable over the long term Anyways, that's it today, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you use grid trading systems, if you heard of them, or if you learned something, uh, that'd make me feel awesome because that's my goal to help you learn 5-10% faster if possible. And have a good one, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.